Hey guys, good morning. It's March 24th, 2021. I'm happy to be back. I hope that you enjoyed my storage video last week. That was a lot of fun to do and um, I loved seeing all the comments. So since I've been gone two weeks, I have a ton of stuff to show you. There's lots of new stuff from Expo, lots of new stuff from Lori Holt, lots of new stuff from Priscilla and Chelsea. So that's super exciting. I'm gonna start with Stitch Card Set H. So our Stitch Card series with Lori Holt comes out once a quarter and there's four patterns within each. And so if you are a club member, that shipped on March 12th. So I'm gonna show these to you. I had these framed at my local framer. They each took about two hours to stitch and I stitched these on Prim 25 Count Lugana by Lori Holt. Let's see. So um, when I had them frame, I did ask them to leave more. I don't know what that light is up there. What's that? Do? What's that showing, shining on there? Uh, I think it's the, the pole. Um. So I did ask the framer to to leave one inch. I usually leave about three quarters of an inch, but I didn't want the red to really fight with the border. So I did ask, um, so that's why there's a little bit more room. So if you want to join the stitch cards, you can join those at any time. And we are on H. And so the insides are all 24 by 24. Each time they will have different borders, so you can mix and match borders and you can mix and match insides. We are working on a box that will fit your stitch cards and um, that has been finalized and should be available in a couple of months because they have to produce them. And um, with this, we also just released a video yesterday on the Penny Pig, which is right here. And Denise stitched it, and we're going to show you an image. We stitched it on 25 count Cloud Lugana by Lori Holt. So if you look, yeah, stay right there, Lily. If you look how different it looks, because this one right here in my hands is prim. The one Lily is showing you is cloud, so you get a different look. And we did um, this pillow with the six inch economy pad paper, which is right here. And we do a video and we show you how to make this pillow. And we did finish it with the Rick Rack, which is called Vintage Trim by Lori Holt. All the information is in that video. And um, that is Lori's, those are Lori's photos. So we went ahead and gave that pillow to Lori. She's putting it in her bowl and she will show that on our future floss tube also. So it's a way to, all of the pillows she has in her pillow bowl are smaller. And then this one she wanted to just make bigger and use her paper and show how you can really uh, fussy cut something in the center of it. And of course, when you're doing that pillow bowl, you could put the border on if you wanted. Um, Lori just didn't think, she thought it would kind of fight with it. So we left that off. So let me know if there's any questions on that video or those stitch cards or what stitch cards are. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of that. Yeah, I'll let questions roll in. We did get a super chat from Dot Dot Goose Design Denise for a hundred dollars, and she says we missed you last week, Denise and Miss Gracie. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's so generous. Thank you so much. Oh, and I did forget to show you the stitch card thread pack and that is right there. So we have plenty of these thread packs in stock. And um, so if you want, you can get the card, you can get the patterns and the thread. I just forgot just to show you that. I will move to Prim and Proper. This is also by Lori Holt. So this is the pattern. And Lily's gonna pop up an image real quick of where Lori's at. And so Lori is stitching on 36 count beach brew by r and r linens so she's stitching and hers is much tinier than ours she's using called for dmc and so she kind of if you see if you go back to the image she did the right side first 
whereas I started on the left side. So she's um, doing the stitch along, she's just doing it her own way and her own order. Now the next picture I'm gonna show you is the dates. So that one is, if you see week five, that will show you um, kind of where we're at. So we're gonna finish, and next week I'm gonna show you my final photo. And then the next photo is from last week, and this was when we went to a ranch, and um, I was trying, my kids, they were not very helpful with the photos I was trying to do. So I was trying to hold this, and I swear I thought that camel was going to come and grab it because he, <laughs> he like kind of talked. He made a lot of noise. Like he would make noise. I'm not kidding. It was like he was trying to talk. And it was like if we fed him, he was happy because each day they would give us food to feed the animals. Mm -hmm. And then if we fed him food we he didn't like, he would spit it out and like Meh. he would make that kind of noise. Meh. It was so funny. Oh. But that was me trying to get a photo and when I finished that photo, it fell and it fell in poop. I'm not kidding. Oh. And I yanked it up real quick. Ew. So this is where I'm at now. Since I was on vacation, I had time to, while I did this border part, I also did this. So I cheated and all I have left is this square. And I'm so excited because this pattern doesn't have any backstitch. So when I'm done, I'm done. I don't have to go back and read, oh, what backstitch do I have to do? Mm. This and that. Um, now, to finish it, I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it yet. I think, to be honest, that I'm going to take it to a framer just because, um, I don't know, I don't really have time to do this. Now, I love this finishing. But unless Denise does it for me, I'm taking it to a framer. I did go to the framer last week and I took four things. I took two of the sampler of the months and I took Sew by Row. And with Sew by Row, I spent about an hour picking a frame and then it was not available. So they picked a different frame. So I'm not sure I'm gonna love the frame, but we will see. And I think I took one other item. Um, oh, I took um, I took Be Mine to the framer. And I'm really happy with the frame that I picked for Be Mine. So I have four items at the framer. So I could save this and take it or just take it. I'm not really sure. But let me know if you'll have any questions or if anything like that. If you, um, I did see some people have changed right here they added like another little scallop and that was pretty cool and if i had seen that before i had done my, mine i might have now on this i am stitching on 14 count sand castle hand dyed jobelin ada by witchell and i am using the prim aura floss box now when i'm done with this one um we will probably be done using that prim aura floss box so i will probably take those spools and add it to my little um thread cute little pottery barn holder thing i have and then add it so that i have more thread in there and if you want to see that that's in the video i released two weeks ago or last week cute comment here from ingrid bowers she says love the pillow finishing and love the little pig my neighbor has two rescue pigs i might make this little pig pillow for them oh i didn't know there was a thing as such a thing as a rescue pig yeah well you save them from you know being okay. turned into bacon oh my gosh. um i think correct me if i'm wrong Okay, so I'm going to move. Okay, so that, this is what I'm talking about. This is my um, Prim Aura Floss box. So when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and put these on my shelf. And then if I need to get them back out, I will. And this is the cute new bag by Dot Dot Goose Designs mm -hmm. using Lori's Flea Market fabric. And I've just kept everything in here. Now I'm going to move to another stitch along that we're doing right now. And let's see, that is on, I'm going to find it on my page. So on this one, this, this is from the Shine On, this is the Shine On Cross Stitch from the Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee. 
And so we have a pop-up of the different stitch along. A lot of people have cheated and gotten ahead, so I think that's awesome. And we are on week three, and so you can, you'll see what I have done next. And then week four is going to be the star. I don't know the name of it, but mm -hmm. that will be the next one. So here it is. This is what I have done. And I'm doing mine a little bit different. The sample is done on Lori's 25 count cloud and Priscilla mounted it on the sticky board, which is also using the shine on fabric. And then we framed it. So it kind of pops up from the frame. This is the book it's from. It's in the back of the book. And so this is the quilt that Bonnie and Camille, um, designed and so we have a cross stitch to match it we are doing this as a stitch along on our quilting channel which is our fat quarter shop channel and um we waited until the cross stitch blocks came out to do the um cross stitch side so that you could we kind of separated them so that you could feel like you could do both and so i am actually stitching mine much smaller so i'm going to show it to you right next to it i'm stitching on antique white 18 count and the reason I don't want mine to be as big, so I'm going to show you mine. So it's going to be much smaller. So this is that. So if you want yours to be bigger, you would use Lori Holt's 25 count cloud or a 14 count. I'm using 18 count. Now you can see when you look at my 18 count, those stitches are pretty tight. And so the stitches don't look as pretty. They don't lie as flat because there's less space for the thread to go. And um, it's a little bit harder because it's harder to turn your needle with such a small piece. But I am happy with it. I want it to, um, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. So today I will probably go ahead and do this. Now the one thing that I did to cheat, because when I'm doing a big project like this, what I try to do is cheat a little bit so that I can always be a little bit ahead. So on the picture that Lily just showed you, this was week one, week two, week three. Now what I did was when I had this green and blue out, I did this, which is part of another week in the future because I just wanted to go ahead and use up the floss that I had on my board. And um, so this week when I do this, like when I'm working on this red, I'll probably come over here and do a little cheat. And when I work on the pink, I'll probably, so I'll probably have half of this done. So that as I go, if something happens in my life where I um, get behind, it doesn't make me feel anxiety. So I will be cheating and kind of doing, you know, little pieces of future ones. And that way, when I get to the end, it will be a lot easier. And I have been storing that in my cute little cozy quilt bag from Crosshatch Quilts. And I am using the called for Cosmo. And I have it on my little beekeeper. And I put the numbers on the back. So let me know if there's any questions on all of that yeah. from Katie Cohagen what would be a good 16 count equivalent to 25 count cloud I tried the 25 count but I want the pattern to be smaller 16 count antique white by Witchell mm -hmm. which is the same exact color as thank you okay so I'll put it here so this is cloud 25 count by Lori Holt it's an even weave. This is Witchell in antique white and it comes in 18, 16, and 14 count. So if so you could do yours and I mean it's just white. It's not a big deal. Um like it's not um I don't think there's too much difference like between whites as much as there would be between gray. I think any white that you stitch on, even if you got it at a Hobby Lobby or anything like that, I think any white would be fine. I think when you get into grays and tans, there can be more of a stark difference, but I really think with, with that pattern with white, um, it just works. Okay, from Missouri Stitcher, are you using two strands of floss? Yes. 
Yes, I am. And that's, um, I guess you could do one strand, but you would see white from the back. And so I'm definitely doing two strands. And when I am stitching on the 18 count, I am using the needle size 28. I'm using Bowen. I didn't bring my bag, but um, I'm using Bowen needles on that because I'm finding that they are easier to um, get through the holes. And I usually use Pat Carson, but on the 18 count, I'm using size 28 needles, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. From Marilyn Perlman, is the Ada by Fiber on a Whim a soft or stiff fabric? Soft. I think that if you compare Fiber on a Whim to Picture This Plus, Picture This Plus is softer. But I would say that Fiber on a Whim is also soft, just not as soft. From J.P. Thompson, when will 14 count vintage cloth and shadow be back in stock? Everything should be, um, we actually are getting a shipment of some of the colors, but I believe that's gonna be May, June. Some colors are coming in before that, but on that one, the last I heard was June, May, June. And from R. Williams, I just ordered the quarterly kit. Will I get the March kit? So if you would like, the March kit email Kathy, C A T H Y, at fatquartershop.com. Tell her your order number and tell her that you would also like to receive the stitch quarterly that just went out. And if there are any left, she will let you buy it. I'm not sure if there's any left off the top of my head. I am very um, happy and very thankful for all the really nice messages that we have received on Stitch Quarterly and the really nice reviews. Um, that really makes us happy and um, it's nice to see positive feedback. From Pamela Bun Clark, if you're using 18 count, do you stitch or can you stitch with a single thread or would it not have enough coverage? I don't think it would have enough coverage, but you could definitely try, you know, do a like five by five square or something and just see what you think. And from Nadine Merrick, I never change needle size. Is it important? Um, if you're doing 18 count, it will be harder for that size 26 needle to um, because this 26 needle is thicker so it's up to personal preference um everyone is different cheryl uses different needles than i do on different projects because i do ask her for advice from time to time so i think it's all personal preference and then from carmen g morning on the patchwork rabbit did you use the dmc thread pack on the antique white fabric Okay, so we will move to that section. This is what she's talking about. This is Cottontail Patchwork Seasons. This is a PDF. It is the first, well, it's the first one was free, which was the heart. This is the first one in our paid series, which are gonna be PDFs. I'm stitching on 14 count antique white by Witchell, but I am stitching with NPI. So this is what I'm stitching with. We gave you threads for DMC and for NPI silks. I put my silks on the Just My Type floss bitties. And you can see that I cut my, when I cut my NPI silks, I cut them a shorter length. Because with silks, they do better if you have a shorter length. And so I have half of him done and I did cheat on there. So this is extra, this was my extra part. So this week I'm gonna do the bottom left and that's gonna be quite a bit cause you can see how much more stitching is here than here. So it's gonna take me quite a bit. And I've been trying to do like, if I'm starting a pink, I try to do a couple of the pinks at the same time and a couple of the purples at the same time. And I just use the Lori Holt Bitty Board and um, put my leftovers on here. Now, since I wasn't gonna work on this for about, you know, when I finished it for a week or two, I went ahead and put my leftovers on here. So you can see right here, On this one, I just had this little piece left. 
so I put that on the side. Now you could put it up here also. And I just used a Brother Label Maker to put my numbers right here. And I'm just keeping all of that in this little bag that I made with our alphabet chart. And we did do a video. There's a video with info on that. So I just kind of put everything back in here. And this pattern actually is like barely fits. So I got really lucky. So yeah, so I am going to finish, I'm not gonna finish this today. I'm gonna just complete this part this week. And so it will be done just in time for Easter. Now on this one, I'm definitely sending this to Priscilla to finish for me. Are there any questions on that? Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a question from before from Jennifer Daniel Johnson. Would it be possible to come up with DMC color equivalents for the fiber on a whim cloth colors? I would refer to their website and ask them for that information. Excellent. And from Gabriel Fuentes on 28 count, how many threads should I use for back stitching? That is personal preference. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two. It depends. Laura uses two and I pick and choose. And usually what I'll do is I'll do one, and then if I like, I'll do one with a single thread, and if I like it, I leave it. And then if I feel like it needs more, I just rip it out and start over. So I do, um, I do use a lot of discretion with back stitches and French knots, and um, I really do change that a lot. Okay, and then from Crafting and Plan Life, does Kimberly start, stop on the bunny, or will she travel? I don't travel. Oh, so neat. Yeah, I don't travel. Um, now, when I was here, I probably started here and then went here and then came back up here. But I'm not really sure. But yeah, no, I didn't travel. And the way that I cut my thread, it's really enough just for one little triangle. Because I cut it pretty short. Now there's something over here that I did travel on, so I will try to show you that. Ooh. And uh, like when we get to it, I'll try to remember. Yeah. From Shelly Johnson, I think I missed the second finish option for the stitches from the heart project. Looking for something other than the suggested pillow was the second finish shown in a previous live. It's not done yet. So Priscilla's working on it and when she has time, she will do it. Um, they're working on a ton of stuff right now. Mm -hmm. So um, when she gets to it, I will be happy. I have always tell her do it at her own time. My stuff comes way after her stuff. So when we get it back, we'll let you know and we haven't shown it yet and there's no rush because we have a whole nother 11 months for Valentine's Day. So um, we're in no rush, but yes, we will show it. It's just not done yet. And I think we took a bit of time to mail it to her. So, um, cause we wanted to add other stuff to it and we're not in a hurry, but yes, we will show something. Now she hasn't done it. I have no idea what it looks like. She'll probably debut it on her channel before mine. So I would uh, subscribe to Stitching with the Housewives and you'll probably see it there because what she does to me is so cruel. She shows it on her channel and then I have to watch to see it. <laughs> I don't get a peek. I get to see it when you see it. <laughs> That's great. All right, and then before we move on, we had a couple super chats here. Uh, first one from Valeria Bauer for $9.99. And she put a pair saying, thank you. Oh, cute. Thank, thank you. Valeria. Oh, and the second one is also from Valeria Bauer. <laughs> she put a super chat for $19.99 with a dancing pair that says you are amazing. And then she said, Kimberly, could you please show me one more time how to use the cross stitch key? Thank you so much. Yes. Let me find it. We'll grab it. Yeah, we'll grab it. Uh, I think I stole it. Actually, I think it might be in this drawer over here, Denise. But I think if it was in here, I stole it um, and put it in my bag. And I forgot to bring my bag upstairs. I don't know why. But yes, I will show you. Um, we just need a, we'll just go on and come back to it. Yes. Uh, oh, and then Ingrid Bowers is clarifying that um, her neighbor with the pigs, she said, I live next door to a farm. The pigs were rescued from owners who neglected them. So Aw, poor piggies. Pig. I'm sorry I said the thing about the bacon. I, I just don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm glad the piggies are in a better home. That's very good to know. Okay, so here is the stitch key. 
Okay, so the way that I use it the most, there's several things to do that you can do with it, but I'll kind of show you how I use it and the different things. So the first thing is when I start, I start and use this corner guide and I either start at two or you know three inches. But so on this one, you can see, I put it right here and that gives me two and a half inches in. I'm gonna move my finger and oop, I started right there. So I, that's how I start with where I, I was not sure it was gonna be exact, but um, so this is, I use this to start. Now you could use it there, or if you wanted to use it in this, if you started in this corner, you could start here. But I obviously gave myself three inches all the way around. So I use it mostly to start. Now I also use it for the inches. And I also use it, we went on a quilting photo shoot and we needed to measure a quilt and we needed to know if they cut the strip two inches or two and a half inches strips. So Nova and I, we ran to the car we grabbed this and I have used this to figure out um, what something was cut at. So I use this for a lot of things. And you use this cloth counter to tell what cloth you're on. So this is 14 count. Now, can you zoom in? If I, thank you. If you put the 14 count on here, you can tell that these lines line up exactly at the dots. So I know I'm on 14 count. And I'm gonna show you on maybe 18 count. So this is 18 count. So I would kind of put this on here and look, okay, look at 16, but oh, at 16 count, it's not lining up exact. So then I would kind of move around and just kind of you can tell that it doesn't line up here but it does here mm. so it tells you what count of fabric you have now the next thing it shows you is the number of strands to use and the needle size it is all subjective of course some people use six strands on 10 count instead of four you use two strands on 14 to 32 counts so the left number is your Ada, the right number would be your even weave or linen. And of course it is all very subjective because for example, on 28 count, you use 26, but on 32 to 40 count, which would also be 16 count to 20 count, I use a size 28 needle, but Cheryl uses a size 26 needle. So we put on here kind of what I use, but it is subjective to each person. So let me know, Valeria, if there's any other questions, and I'm gonna just put this right in this drawer Ooh, with my, with my, um, my little glasses that Kevin loved. I, I put them on. Oh, look at how crazy that looked. Look. Okay, so I put them on. Okay, they're shaded. They have like a shade to them. I don't know why. Oh. I didn't mean to buy shaded, but they're a little bit shaded. But yes. Kevin thinks it's so hilarious when I wear them because he's like, you look like a total old lady. Oh. So I put them on just on purpose. It's sometimes and just walk around the house just because it annoys him. Nice. And I think it's funny. It is funny. Yes. Okay, question from... And <laughs> that's okay. Like we're playing because I call him an old man too. Oh. So just like we're just playing. Don't put any mean comments. Aww. <laughs> we play around a lot. Yeah. From fifth daughter, do you ever start from the middle? Okay, so I used to a long time ago, but now I don't. And I don't know. I just, I think it just used to be a thing because when you got your pattern, you used to get a package from Michaels and it would have your floss, your fabric, your chart. It was easy to find the middle. Now I feel like things are a little bit different because you buy your own fabric and cut it down. So you have more room and you know that you have the inches around because you're buying it yourself, cutting it down. So that's kind of why, I think. And Gwen Smith said, want to thank Kimberly for her Excel, she Excel spreadsheet of her DMC flaws on the organization YouTube. Oh, Ooh. thanks. Yay, sure thing. And Valeria said, thank you. Yay. Okay, so my last item that, well, not the last item, but my last item that I'm still working on is, I got a little bit ahead. I 
am working on Farmhouse Christmas and I converted my colors. So I do keep this, it kind of sticks to my bag right here so that I can at any time see my conversion. This was the colors that Diane picked and then these are Kimberly's colors. And I put a note of how many skeins I started with. I really don't need that. I don't know why I even did that. So this is Farmhouse Christmas, which is a nine part series. And this is a bag from Dot Dot Goose. It's got my pig. This is my little dog. Oh. With his little friend that he doesn't have. <laughs> imaginary friend. Yeah, imaginary friend. So I was trying to finish part three today, even though my goal is next week. I didn't get as far. So I start, what I started with was doing the border. Now that border can be found on Little House Needleworks website. And then you purchase, there's nine of these, so it's gonna be three by three. And what I started with is I did all of the white. And then I did one of the browns, and then I filled in the black. I've got some of the green and then some of the red. And then I'm just gonna, once I finish this roof, which is black, all I have to do is the truck, which is right here. And then I am leaving all of the French knots that go like on the eyes, like the snowman eyes or the little man's eyes. I'm gonna do all of that at the very end. So hopefully next week I will have this done and then I will have my part 10, I think, of Kringles done. So I got that done and I'm stitching this on 16 count beautiful beige by Witchell. And the reason I picked this was I was using it in sampler of the month by Country Cottage and I just like the color. And so my colors, I think they're just a little, they're still very farmhouse. They're just a little toned down. Um, I do feel like with this, I kind of had to stay within the farmhouse look and I don't feel like this is gonna match my house as much as I wanted it to, but really I don't, um, there's really no other way to do it than to, cause, the, cause of the look. And I do have some stains, I'm gonna show you, look, I have a stain there. Ooh. And I have another stain right here. So, I saw those last night and I'm gonna tide pin those out. So um, I said that kind of fast and some people were like, what is she saying? So I'm literally saying tied, like the laundry detergent pin, like a pin, and it's a tied pin. Do you know what it is, Lily? Yeah, I just, I. I People didn't I didn't understand know. what I was yeah. saying, and I'll just ink it on there and it'll be um, fine. So tied pin, I'm gonna tied pin. Well, this one I probably won't worry about because it's not gonna be in it, but you can tell, I mean, I'm not as, picky as I should be. I use lotion. You're not supposed to. I, you know, I do this at my desk where I eat. You're probably not supposed to. That's what I do. Okay, so my, I had two finishes while I was gone. Mm. This is our April trucking along by Stitching with the Housewives. And then in May, I've got to do May and I'll be done. Oh. So, um, some changes that I made is, let's see, there's little chickens here. And I made a carrot, I mean a bunny. But this bunny <laughs> right here is brown. And I didn't think a brown bunny on a brown sign, so I made a white bunny. And then, let's see what else I did. I think that's the only change I made. And then I just left the little chicken off. I didn't put Piggy up there because there weren't enough stitches to make him look good. But I'm excited to be done. I am gonna be sending this to Priscilla to finish. This one was pretty intensive in terms of stitching. This one took more time than her previous, her and Chelsea's previous trucking alongs, uh, but it's cute. And then um, for the back stitches, I did use two strands this time. I did change the whiskers a little bit. So I think that they had their whiskers way out here. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's a lot. So I toned the whiskers down a little bit. So I finished that. And then I, oh, and then here he is with a donkey. So uh, the donkey, okay, so the, this donkey was in the same cage as the camel. It's like a really big, so they have in there a bull, a donkey, and a camel. And I guess the, the donkey's 40 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, 
Anyway, the, one of the men that worked at the ranch let the donkey out and was like, oh, ride the donkey. Because the donkey, the donkey's really, um, I guess, well tamed. And he said, oh, yeah, he can come out of the cage because he likes to stay in the cage. And I'll just come back and put him in later. He was so friendly. I mean, the camel was not very friendly, but the donkey was really nice. Um, he would let you pet him and um, was really, really friendly. So that was, um, that was where I was at. Okay, so the funny thing on this one is I ran out of bamboo. So on that one, you can see I have everything done, except, okay, you don't have to move the, the thing, Lily. Okay. Right here, I didn't have enough white to finish the bunny. So I was completely done with everything except the bunny and the whiskers, and I don't know how I didn't have another bag with bamboo in it at the ranch, but I didn't, so I had to finish that when I got home. Um, so I did run out of bamboo. So that was my first finish. My next one, I'm so excited about. So I did actually this weekend, I decorated for Easter. Now I know Easter's in two weeks and I should have decorated for Easter a long time ago because that's what Kevin told me, but I didn't get around to it. But I got, I got him done. I didn't change anything about the bunny. I hope she finishes it just like hers because I love it. And I've got, I do have to figure out how to get this um, crease out. I didn't change anything on this one. I even, oh my gosh, I even left the whiskers super big. Mm -hmm. So on this one, I felt like the whiskers were okay big. The other one, I had to tone them down. And I like the little um, birdies. I didn't have to, there was no chickens to take out, so that was good. Oh, I did make one change. On here, they have the whiskers white, and on here, I made them brown. Now, I don't know why I did that. I think that's just a mistake, so I'm actually probably gonna fix those whiskers to be white, because I'm noticing it here. I have no idea why I did that. That was an accident. So let me know if there's any questions on any of those. Oh, sorry. Look, okay, so now there was a, okay, <laughs> next to the pin with the longhorn, the donkey, and the camel were goats. Aww. <laughs> and those goats were aggressive. Okay, and so I was trying to get the cross stitch to stitch in that little bob wire right there, and oh. it was not happening. And um, I thought those goats were gonna come and grab the piece also, but they were pretty, um, goats can be kind of aggressive. And um, yeah, that one I was like, let me get this done and out. I was not as fond of the goats as the donkey. The donkey was super nice and the I was not a fan. The camel was fine if you had food, but when you ran out of food, he was making all kinds of noises and I was like, okay, we gotta get out of here. So you keep naming all the different animals that were there. And I'm like, it sounds like you're starting a joke, like a donkey, a longhorn and a oh, camel. Oh, no. Okay. So walk we into the farm. So a lot of the people who worked on the ranch had worked there a really long time. So one of the ranch workers came and was talking to us about the donkey. And I said, well, what is his name? He said, I don't know. Ask Lisa. Cause Lisa is another lady that works there and she works with the animals. He goes, I just feed them. He had worked there 40 years years and he was 70 years old he had worked at that same ranch um so it was very interesting talking to him um but he said oh yeah i just feed them he's like i don't know their names <laughs> oh, that's funny oh okay but there are i mean to be fair hundreds of animals on there so i mean he probably doesn't have time to worry about their names because <laughs> he feeds all of them that's funny. It was one guy who fed. It was one the the guy and the lady. They took they took care of the animals. Okay, uh, Lori Holt said they are baby chicks, not birdies. Kimberly, lol. So they are still chickens, just baby ones. Oh, I thought they were birdies. I was laughing so hard when I saw Lori's comment. She knows I'm just okay. not. I'm just not a. I'm not a farm girl. They're little chicks. <laughs> but I'm really mad about my whisker mistake. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh. Okay, um, from Fifth Daughter, what are the dimensions of the farmhouse Christmas stitch when you use the border? Just ordered my supplies. Okay, so it is available on Little House Needlework's website, but we will pull that up real quick. If you go to Little Works Needlework, Little House Needleworks, and from there, you stitch, you click on cross stitch designs, and then from there, you, you scroll down, you s click on farmhouse Christmas, and I'm going to read it to you. If you use the border, it is 209 by 209 in stitches. And if you do individual pieces, 
each individual piece is 63 by 63. So with 14 count, I already did the math, it's in here. On 14 count with the border, sorry, 16 count with the border, it's gonna come out 13 inches square. If you wanna do 14 count, Denise is gonna help me out with the math, and it's gonna be 15 inches square approximately. Uh, Pokey Little Pineapple was asking, did the goats scream? No, they, um, they didn't. The animals talk. They, they no, animals talk. Yeah, yeah they were really they quiet. Scream. They just, yeah. There's like a Taylor Swift vine back in the day when, it, I'll show you later. I don't watch vine. I don't even know what that is. It's, but I, the, okay, I'll tell you another funny story. Um, we took a little tour of the ranch and they had two tours available. One was like for the history of the ranch and one was more of the animals. So we decided just to do the animals. Well, so they gave us these cookies that they had cut in half and you could feed the llamas. Well, my kids didn't want to feed the llamas because one of them was scared of the llamas. Oh. Well, then the llamas were chasing us. So we were in like an ATV, I guess. And those llamas were chasing us. It was so funny. And then they would go, <sighs> And then um, one of them, the lady that was doing the tour was the lady Lisa, and she was one of the ones that feeds the animals. And she said, when the llamas' ears go up like that, they're about to snort at you. So the, the llamas kept chasing us, and as soon as those ears went up, she hit the gas fast. Oh. She was like, it's about to spit on you. We're done. Because they get mad because you're feeding them. And when you're out of food, they're gonna get mad. So she was like, it's time to go. And I loved it because I liked feeding the llamas, but I have one son that was like terrified. And every time what my other kids would do is they would let the llama catch up and then they would say, oh, the llama's here. Because they didn't wanna like tell him in advance the llamas were coming. It was so <laughs> horrible. But you know what, that's what kids do. And I thought it was funny. The llamas are coming, the llamas are coming. Well, they were like letting the llama sneak up on him. Oh. But he was far enough away. I mean, he was in the front seat between two people. He was fine. Oh. But other kids could touch the llamas. He was, we put him in the center because he was not, a, he really didn't want to go on the animal tour. But oh. um, I'm not going to leave my kid alone for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so he had to go. Yeah. All right, before we move on, we got a super chat from Christine Ellis for ninety nine ninety nine. Oh Thank you, Kimberly and Fat Quarter Shop, for all the very helpful tips and tricks. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. We try. It has been really nice to have two weeks of stuff to show. Mm -hmm. It's been really nice because I'm like, oh, if I could just do that much each week. But I think if I did, my arms would fall off. Um, so another item that Cheryl stitched is she, this is a little booklet from With Thy Needle and Thread called Jelly Bean Jubilee. And this is like a loose stitch and she did it with a thicker thread. Hmm. And she's stitching on 32 count linen from her stash. 36. And 36, see I can't read. I'm reading off a screen and I am blind as a bat. 36 <laughs> count linen. <laughs> DMC, and this is just, I think this is, um, I'm trying to think of the word of it. It is. A wheelbarrow? No, it's no. a thread. Oh. It's a thick thread. What's that thick thread Pearl called? Cotton. Pearl cotton. Oh. Yeah, and then this is just loose. It's so cute. I know, it's so cute. So I think oh. she's done. Let me see. Right here. Oh, yeah, she's done. Oh. So cute. Little and these are chicks, not not birds. Yes. So I got and that. the chickens. Okay. Okay, any questions before? I have two things I'm going to be teasing today. Um, one is going to be a full tease, and one is oh. going to be a tiny tease. Oh, dear. So our first one is brand new Lori Holt pattern. It is not going to be for sale until Monday. So you got to stalk our website, What's New Page, on Monday. And Cheryl stitched it. It's so pretty, right? Wow, yes. I gotta move one thing on the table real quick. I haven't seen this, wow. I know, we did it just on purpose. So you'd have to see it on camera. Oh my God. So Cheryl stitched this on 25 count Lugana 
Barley by Lori Holt. So this is Lori's fabric. It fits on here. The pattern, again, is not going to come out until Monday. And we have, on this one, it's just DMC listed only. Because, and I'm going to tell you the whole reason why, is when Lori was picking these colors, she was very thorough and found that she could only get the look she wanted from DMC. So that's why mm -hmm. only one is listed. She couldn't find enough colors in RF Floss. Mm -hmm. So, we've got this thread pack. Wow. Now I'm going to show you all of it. Yeah. I'm going to try to, okay. When she got this framed, she added a, um, it's a little silver, I don't know what you call it, like an inset. Mm -hmm. So it was custom framed, and the reason it was custom framed is she couldn't find anything that she liked enough from Hobby Lobby. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this as a stitch along, and we're gonna do it starting in the very beginning of June, and the reason we're waiting is we want everybody to have time to get their pattern. We want everybody to have time to get their floss. Now on this one, there's a lot of colors. Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of people changing up the color. So we want you to have time. And we're gonna divide it up into part one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna post all of that information later. But if you wanna get ahead, start here. And I'm gonna do something totally fun. I'm gonna take it out of its package. I'm going to stitch with her floss on here. Oh. This is pale gray gingham 14 count on fabric flare. And I'm gonna put the floss on there. Wow. Oops, oopsie, it's oopsie, oopsie. So okay, it's pretty. gonna look good, right? So this is very um, fall-ish, summer-ish. Spring, yeah. Yeah, too. it's everything. Yeah. But when it goes here. I'm gonna, okay, that's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> now, I'm gonna change there's a couple colors that I am gonna change. Yellow and orange are two of them because those read very fall. And on my fabric, these are just duplicates. So you can see what a different look you can get, but that's my plan. So mine will end up being smaller because I'm on 14 count and Cheryl stitched on 25 count, which is the equivalent of 12 and a half count. That's so again, thread is available now. Pattern will be available first thing Monday morning. Now this, if you're looking at Lori's and Cheryl's, hold on one second, I don't wanna drop everything. This opening right here is 12 and 5 eighths by 13 and 3 quarters. And when we do the stitch along, we will have this here and I will show you mine on top of it so that you can see. But I'm gonna just change these two colors just because I think they're a little bit dark just for my fabric. So let me know if you have any questions on any of that. Oh, I'm in awe, that's beautiful. I know, I it's so pretty. Um, and it is based on her flea market quilt. Oh. So if you are doing her flea market quilt, it's a completely free applique pattern and she has videos on it. She's got blog posts. We have a kit. Um, so it's based on that. Oh, Look at it, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's, wow. I mean, it's, it's basically a masterpiece. Yeah, it is. So pretty. And I'm doing mine different, not because I don't like it, just because I like to do that. I like to change things. I like to be able to show you. If I stitched exactly like this, I would have nothing to add when I do the live stream. I wouldn't be able to show you the difference of the fabrics or the difference of color or the difference of things. And I want you to feel like you can step out of your um, comfort zone if you want to, to make it fit your house or your personality or whatever. Because I mean, you could do this in black and white. I mean, oh. you could do this in black and white and gray totally different look mm. do it for Halloween I mean you can do yeah. so many things with this you could do it in Christmas colors yeah there's so many things you can do oh, so pretty. 
Okay. From Gianna Gorsuch, will Lori's new pattern still fit in a standard frame? It would stitch if you found, you could find a board. It's not going to fit a standard frame. Um, it's not going to fit a standard frame. Hold on. Go back to the size. Go scroll up. No, 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 no. Scroll up. Okay, 12 and 5 eighths by 13 and 3 quarters. So, there's no frames that big. Uh, no, because 11 by 14 would be too small. Okay, hold on. But if you do it on 14 count, let me look, because I already have it written in my book. Okay, on, on the 14 count, it will measure 11 by 12. So, you could put it in a 12 by 13 frame. Isn't 12 by 13 a size? 12 by 16 so maybe not but you could always take it put it on sticky board and buy like a really big wooden um i think it would fit on more of a piece rather than a frame um and that one the reason why she didn't make it exactly to fit a frame is because it's based on a quilt and so if you base it on a quilt and you change it too much it's not going to have the same look and if you want you could take sections of this and make little pillows like like we did. So you could stitch this, put fabric around it, and make a bowl pillow just like you saw earlier in the channel with our bowl filler penny pig. And it would match the penny pig. But you could do um, this. You could even make a rectangular pillow. You could make a big pillow. There's a lot you could do. It doesn't, if you, if you feel overwhelmed by the beauty of this and you want to take a small piece, you could easily do that. I mean, you could do a whole bowl of pillows of just this. And you could have like a big pillow, small pillow, big pillow. You know, I mean, oh my gosh, I might do that. Mm -hmm. That would be cute. Ooh, that would be cute. Maybe I'll do that. Mm -hmm. From Nadine Merrick, will the pattern be PDF or just paper? It's going to be paper now. And in six months, it will be on PDF. From Suzanne Paget, the silver is called a fillet on the frame. Okay. Okay. And then Simone Harriman says, will the aqua for home sweet home be back in stock or should I find a different color? I also loved my stitch quarterly. Yes. Yeah. Um, she can look up a date, but yes, it should be soon. We'll look and see if it's shipped. Um, the next item I wanted to show you is my previous finish. And so this is Little House Needleworks. And this one I finished last year. So this I had custom framed and I stitched this on wheat 28 count Lugana by Zweigart. And in this pattern, there are four and they come with bell swath thread. This thread is obviously green. I changed mine to Belle Swall Cool Mint. So I'm excited to take this home to display it. Now that is silk thread and it is more, you can see that there is a lot more variegation than there is with just a regular classic color works. Now on this one, I did do one X at a time so that you would get more of a variation. If I had to go back and redo this, I would have used a darker floss because I don't feel that it stands out enough but that's my previous finish and I'm excited to take it home I've made all four of the seasons if they're called monochromatic seasons nothing showing no, oh, okay so we don't know when the the aqua is coming but um, we can check and give you an update next week but it is um, supposed to be soon Okay, so now I'm going to show you our club feature of the week. Mm. So this is from Prim Stitch Series by Lori Holt. In a, free, in, a, in a previous floss tube, she did show how she's doing hers, which is one big piece. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, one second. <laughs> 
And so, um, but she also did show it in person. So we're through part nine. And the border that she's showing there is free. If you signed up, it's free and you can download it on our site. Denise is running to get something. I'm not sure what she's getting. This is made with the Arafloss Prim box, which is what I showed you earlier. And um, Lori is stitching hers as one big piece, and we're stitching them individually. And I'm just gonna show you kind of all of them, just because I think they're so pretty. This is the medium frame of Lori Holt that's on our website. Each of these is painted with one of her Chalky Chicks paint. On the back of every pattern, it tells you the size, sorry, it tells you the color of paint she used. She did use um, different fabric right here, the same fabric right here, and she used her natural lace. So she has finished all of these for me, so thank you hugely to Lori. When I'm finished, I'm gonna put these all on one big wall. So this is part nine. And I'm gonna show you all the previous. I'm not gonna tell you the numbers, I'm just gonna show you, cause I am having a hard time reading today. This one is Patriot, Patriotism and Industry. This is also based on a quilt. This one is Joy and Contentment. So Lori um, painted all of these for me, finished all of them, and you see that this is gonna keep it consistent the brown, which is from her prim fabric. And on the back of all of these, she put a board and she covered in one of her fabrics. And we have all the information on here, including um, the color that she used to paint it with, so that if we ever need to get back to it, it will all be right there. So these are Lori's library cards. Here's another one. Yeah, I thought, oh my gosh, we've got to start showing all of these. And when I get them all on one big wall, I will show you. Ooh. This might be my favorite. It reminds me of my Aunt B because she is actually an artist and she would draw when I was a little kid. She would draw and paint and like she would do a lot of um, charcoal paint, charcoal pencil art mm -hmm. and she would always draw angels. Ooh. And this is a little farmer. My little, my little eye looks bad. My little eye, he got squished. Mm -hmm. My French knot, oof. I think I should have made that French knot bigger. Oh well. And so if you're in our club, there are three left. This is the center. Well, not the center, but one of the centers. Okay, this is my second favorite. This one was a lot of fun to stitch. I remember stitching this um, at baseball. So I remember before I went to the baseball game, I had outlined the outside. And then when I went to the baseball game, I just filled it in. And my son actually played baseball last night. It was so fun. He got, he actually got a score. I don't know what you call that in baseball, but he got a whatever. Ooh. He made a point. That's what I call it. Woohoo. I, um, I don't know what I'm doing at baseball. I get so confused. I didn't stitch at baseball last night, though. It's so pretty. The little sheep. That sheep was fun to stitch also. So let me know if you have any questions on any of the other stuff that I showed. Um, I had my previous finishes, my current finishes, all of that. From Lisa Marie, do you think the look of 14 count and 28 count even weave is a big difference? Even weave tends to stress me out. Uh, to me, no. I don't, I don't, yeah. I like Ada. I think Ada's fine. Yeah. Uh, like grab, grab that stitchy stars right there. Yeah, I'm gonna show that real quick. Um, just as an example why. Mm -hmm. So this is 25 count oatmeal. I guarantee if you stitch this on 14 count vintage country mocha, you're gonna see no difference. You don't see a lot of the fabric. Where does your eye go? To the blocks. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're, I don't feel, okay, so think about this. 
who comes to your house? And my house, not very many people come over because we're a little antisocial. It was so funny the other day, Emma went to her friend's house and she came home and she's like, Dude, mom, did you know like other people, they invite people over for dinner. Did you know that? I was like, yeah. She's like, can y'all can you start inviting people over? And I said, no, <laughs> because we're antisocial. And that's, that's not a bad thing. It's just, um, but when you have people that come to your house, they don't have a clue what that is. Where are they gonna look? Right there. Yeah. So to me, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if it's stressing you out, like, do what makes you happy. Yeah, because I will tell you uh, uh, something that I learned. Okay, I started Kringles last year in Mania in May. I cannot tell you how frustrated I get with that piece. The only reason I haven't started the part that needs to be finished next week is because it stresses me out. I have to... I cannot see the holes and I get so frustrated and I, oh, I just get frazzled. It's ridiculous. And it's going to be a beautiful piece. And I'm going to be so happy when it's done. If I had to go back and do it, I would have picked an Ada. The reason I remember that Denise and I didn't pick an Ada is we couldn't find a color close enough. And we also didn't have Diane's sample because I wasn't at Needlework Market because it was my daughter's dance competition. So I didn't have the chance to compare fabrics. But if I had, that's what's so great about me publishing Lori's patterns is I can see what Lori does and then I can compare a fabric that works for my eyes to it because I've got the sample because somebody made the sample for us, um, which makes it really easy. So um, if I had to do it again though, I would have started with an Ada just because it takes me it has to take me at least one and a half times the amount of time it has to because i get i can tell okay so like whenever you're stressed you should always like relax your shoulders right whenever i start kringles i'm like this and then i'm like okay i have to relax i have to relax but i've only got two rooms left i just want it done um because it's just been difficult and once i started that i realized how much more fun i have on ada and that's why 2021 is the year of Ada for me. Lori Holt said, I come to your house. Cause you're oh yeah, you. Lori comes to my house. Yes. But if she lived here, Lori would come to my house all the time. Yes. Um, we have new neighbors and we went over to their house, but he hasn't come to our house yet. I'm like, well, I was so impressed because, okay, so he wanted us to watch his dog. He's got a Labradoodle <gasps> and he's, um, he's so cute. He's big though. He's not, he's not little and all okay his okay lily's gonna love this okay his dog is named spanky his cats are named um from the little rascals oh what what i don't know alfalfa yes <laughs> alfalfa and then there's another one and i said to my kids i said yeah i think that's from like a tv show and he said little rascals i was yeah. like oh well i don't know Aww. but i was so impressed because we went over there so he could show my kids you know how to get in the house his cats like to escape, so, you know, trying to tell them all the things. And we went in their bedroom, because he was showing us their house, and their bed was made. I was like, oh, that's why we don't have people come to our house, because <laughs> we're slank. Anyway. Funny. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little tease. So, on Friday, you want to make sure that you check out our What's New page on Friday. There's going to be something exciting. I have a little tease. So there's Piper, and there's going to be something big on Friday. So you're going to want to check our What's New page on Friday. And that was the tease that we got. So it's obviously Stitching with the Housewives, and that dog is so cute. But yeah, she is. She bites. Aww. She's so cute. Okay, so now Needlework Market was canceled this year because of, of attendance, being able to attend. So there was Needlework Expo. So most of the items we ordered came in. Not all, I'm still waiting on one thing, but I'm gonna show you kind of what has come in so that you can pick and choose what fits um, you. So we're gonna start with hands-on design. Do you wanna read that, Lily? Oh gosh. Uh, again, Ashley, correct me if I'm wrong. Frege Menth? And you can read that one too. Palm Sol? Sage, I'm really butchering this one. Uh, cu cuisine Francais. So those are three new ones. 
very cute for your kitchen. Now this one, this is part of her blog party series and I would really encourage you to go look at her blog and her Facebook and website. She showed this in a straight piece, so straight across, and it's so cute because it's all 12 of the reindeer. The reindeer. Is it 12? It's eight. Eight. Okay, so all the reindeer that way. Nine if you count Rudolph. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll do Denise. And then this one I'm going to stitch. So this is the third of the Let's Talk series that is the seasons. So I have made autumn and summer, winter, winter something. I'm going to make this one. So this will be part of my mania, and I am going to make it just like her. The only difference is I think she does her sample on 16 count, 32 count, which is equivalent of 16 count, but I'm making mine on 14 count. And then what I did is I took it to my framer, and each time I just take the previous one and then tell them, okay, space the edge the same and do the same frame so that I can put it in my house and switch it each time. So that's hands-on design. The next ones are Teresa Kogut, and she is going to have a new fabric collection with Riley Blake. If you would like to see it, I will be showing it on our Fat Quarter Shop quilting channel this Friday. Yes. So this is Pennsylvania Dutch Farm Series, the heifer, rise and shine. Mm -hmm. Psalm 9111. Pray. Whimsy Halloween. So I think that's a witch upside down. Yeah. And I like this one. This is the Rejoice, Rejoice Snowman. And then there's three big ones Peacemaker. Frankter. I was trying to figure out what Frankter meant, but I never figured it out. And then this one has been the most popular, Come to the Garden. Ooh. And that's her sampler. So that is Teresa Kogut's new items. We're going to move to Tiny Modernist. Ooh. Your own kind of beautiful. Be your own kind of beautiful. Do you want to make that, Lily? Yeah. I want to make it for my mom. She has chicken stuff in her kitchen spring band sampler and then she's starting a new series called spring blessings it is a four-part mystery and this is part one and so as she adds the next parts they're all out sorry one Two. So part two is up here. Part three is the corner flowers. And then part four, she adds the sides. So if you want to make that, that's a four part series that will sell as a set. And then there's Mermaid Garden. Ooh. Who's the Disney princess named Mermaid? Ariel. Okay, that's her. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that's cute. And then part of the expo was a Moo the Merrier. Oh my gosh. And so each of the designers were encouraged to do a cow design. So this was her Moo the Merrier called Strawberry Cow. So cute. That reminds me one time one of my kids told one of my other kids that pink cows make strawberry milk and he believed it. Aww. So this is Hello from Liz Matthews and I absolutely love this pattern. Now, I'm never gonna stitch it because it would be humongous. I encourage you to go to her YouTube channel and watch her video from about a month ago where she shows all of this. This is a ginormous piece. Oh. It doesn't look like it, but it's a wall wall hanging it is not a little piece if it was little i would make it this is gather here and i do believe she stitched that if i'm remembering correctly from her video 40 count gather here with grateful hearts dutch sampler 
and Butterfly Chloe. And then I'm going to show you Kathy Barrick's patterns. Amelia Prescott oh. and Kathy Barrick is Hello Lives Matthew's mother. Oh, that's cool. And this is a Dutch sampler. Mm. A Quaker dwelling. I love the quilt blocks. Mm -hmm. And pieces of old. And then Summer House Stitch Works. I'm going to let Lily read the names. Oh, uh, they kind of go with the other, okay, the right. hands-on design. Myrtle, it's kind of a... I can't read for the rest of it. At, at Myrtle et Thim? Poir et Romarin? And then Respond with Love. I need to get back on my French lessons, y'all. And then Heart Street Samplery. All will be well. Springtime Pin Drum. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that says. Ground Force? Grounding Force? Okay, can't read. Yeah. And then My Necessity. Okay, so now I'm going to tease you guys. Y'all nice. have to wait a few minutes to see all of the other new items and Lily's gonna come give you some tech tips. So Ooh. it's tech tips with Lily. Yay. And I'll be right back. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Tech tips with Lily time. Yes. <laughs> okay. So funny story, reason I'm not showing you guys stitching today, apart from tech tips are important and I wanted to share them with you guys is someone forgot to cross it at home. So next week I will show you my progress. But tech tips this week, I'm gonna put this down so I'm not playing with it. The description box, that's the topic of the day. So a lot of the times Kimberly will say, links in the description, links in the comments, uh, links down below. That's called the description box. So uh, we have Ashley here who is not only a wonderful human being, but she puts a lot of hard work into gathering all the links for basically everything you see on camera all the patterns all the frames finishes anything we can find a link for to help you find it she's the one who does that so go ashley she's amazing um but youtube so here's the funny part links as you guys usually see on your browsers are long they have google.com slash da 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 random letters and stuff youtube has a character count for our description box uh and we usually max it out pretty quickly so to be able to provide you guys with all the links for everything and still make it accessible, we put like the most relevant things in our description box. But if you click the show more right underneath the video, where it's a little arrow on mobile, I believe, um, it'll have a little description of the video. And then right underneath that, the very first link you see is links to all things or general links. Um, actually has a good title for it, but I don't remember it right now. But it's the very first one. That one takes you to a separate page outside of YouTube and it has every single link for that video, everything we showed. If it happens that we show something that we weren't expecting to show, like someone asked a question, we're like, oh, let's, let's show the cross stitch key. You know, we weren't necessarily planning on showing that today. Um, Ashley, make sure to add it in right away. So then by the time, if you're watching this afterwards, everything we talked about is gonna be right there. Um, and then we do, uh, as you guys can see, provide those links in the comments for you guys as we're going along this show. Uh, and the cool thing about the links too is that Ashley puts them in the order of the show so you can follow along as you're going through. So I just wanted to share that with anyone um, who may not know about it, who might not know like, oh, what's this random page I'm being taken to if I click all links, like totally safe, set up by us. You're gonna find everything there. Um, and then if you find that something's missing, just like let us know in the comments and we will add that link right away. Uh, yeah, if there's any questions, cool. This has been Tech Talk with Lily, and next week I will show you my stitching. Do -do -do. Thank you, Lily. So now we have some more stuff. Maybe if I take off every week, every other week, we'll have this much each week. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, this is BFF Bunnies by Luminous Fiber Arts and Spring Scamper. 
And then October House Designs has a couple of new ones. This is Cheerful Giver, Love and Joy. And this next one I will be doing, I am going to stitch this on, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've gotta move a couple things. I'm gonna stitch this piece. Now she, her sample is stitched on a really small count. And I'm gonna stitch it on this pale gray gingham. And by doing that, mine is going to come out, because I already wrote it out yesterday, mine is going to come out bigger at seven and a quarter by eight. I'm gonna use all of her called for flosses and I'm gonna stitch it as part of Mania, FQS Stitch Mania. So I made that decision yesterday. And we do only have about 14 of these left. We are gonna be ordering more today. Um, I kind of, when things come in, I, I don't know, I just kind of missed it when she showed it. I just loved it when it came in, so decided last minute to add it. And then as I, as I, I, I dropped something, sorry. As I do that, I didn't mean to, Denise, I'm so sorry. Um, as I do that, what I do is I go through and start on my cross stitch journal and I put what I know. So, you know, I know I'm gonna do this. I've already bought everything and you can kind of see, I can give you some teases. These are just some different things I'm gonna be doing that aren't all filled in yet. So home sweet home, I'm gonna stitch that with you guys. I haven't decided what fabric, so I haven't filled it out, but I do have some little teases in here. I'm gonna, there's some teases for y'all. And then she also came out with Floss Tube Friends. Aww. And then Lucy Bean, Ghost and Pumpkins Drum Roll. Now remember, on anything like this that's circular, you can stitch it and keep it flat. You don't have to turn it into a drum roll. I think that for a, it took me a while to really grasp that concept. So I'm hoping to take something that is written as circular or cylinder-ish and make it flat eventually to show you that. Cross stitch makes everything okayer. This is funny. I will poke you. Halloween under the sea. She wanted some honey, so she got the bees. Oh. And this is funny. Call the doctor. Call for the doctor, call for the nurse, call for the lady with all the alligator purse. Oh. And then these are from Sue Hillis Designs. It's really, this is a very, um, it's a booklet so you can kind of see. It's the, it's the most wonderful spark of the year. And then I think this one's gonna be the most popular. So much love. And then we have Needle Bling Designs. Stitching is my happy hour. It'll always happy hour when I'm stitching. Oh, she must love her some happy hour. <laughs> Easter on the farm. Peter's Garden. Mrs. Claus Bake Shop. Oh, so and then cute. I love this one, Santa and Company. Oh. I love this one, so I am going to make these. I don't, I, I think I'm gonna make them as, I think that what I wanna do with this, cause I'm gonna do it in Jolly July, Denise is gonna remind me, but what I wanna do is I wanna stitch them across horizontally, where it's like Santa, soldier, elf, snowman, where it's like this across. So I'm gonna do this as Jolly July. And then her Moo the Merrier is Moo the Merrier Farms. Aww, Lily likes the cows. cows. Yes. And then From the Heart has Mini Spring. So this is a smaller pattern. It's got um, chicks and lamb. Happy Birthday. Welcome Spring Sampler. Grateful Quaker. Freedom Quaker, 
Quaker Bees. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. I can see Lori making this one. I was wondering if she's going to make that one. And then this is a sampler. One of the things that you guys asked for was for us to carry samplers. So we're dipping our toes in it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how they sell. And if they sell, we'll carry more. If they don't sell, we won't carry more. So these are two samplers that we just, and we decided to pick samplers that were more of a fat quarter shop feel to dip our toes in so that we could try to get the best results possible. So we do listen to your requests. This is Shakespeare's Peddler, and I um, can envision Cheryl making this one. I think that she said she was actually, now that I think about it. And then teacups and keys. So I think this also would look really good. Um, you could do those all four together. I could see that framed. I can see it in a mm. pillow. Um, I can see it in red floss, black floss, blue floss. Um, just, you know, there's so much you can do with these and mix and match them. And I, these, I did really like these. Now this is the other one. Sorry, let me move. I'll try to make them fit. This is scissors. So I could see doing a lot with this. And Lori Holtz cream, what is it called, the trim? Vintage lace. Vintage lace. Natural lace? Natural vintage lace would look great on these. Mm. I was trying to think of the name, sorry. And this is Carriage House Samplings. And this is another sampler. Mm -hmm. Matter's Choice. Quaker house samplers. Now, I love this. I would make this. I would not put the ears. Oh. And I would not, if I made this, I would make them. I would not put the ears and I would not put this. I would have it just be three plain houses. And then this is also included. So I'm going to add some samplers to my lineup throughout the year. I'm gonna dip my toe in. But we're going to dip my toe in the Kimberly way, which means 14 count Ada, leaving out all the stuff that is too old timey. Sorry. A Quaker study. I really like this one. Halloween seed sack. And then this one, um, the next two got a lot of feedback on our Instagram. Horse feed sack. Mm. Chicken feed sack. Mm hungry hair feed sack and then i really like this one also this is called fall's gifts mm. now if i made this i would make that i would not put the year and i would definitely not put the words because i don't know what that means uh, mm -hmm. so please don't hate me in the comments i'm just trying to be honest okay the nevy needle a stitcher's wallet this one is beautiful in person. If you, this, this pattern cover does not do the, I'm so sorry, my stomach is growling. The, the <laughs> pattern cover on here does not do this piece justice. It is beautiful. It says, God shed his grace on thee. And if you look at her Instagram and other stuff, you will see the beauty of this piece. And I live in the garden. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I live in the garden. I just sleep in the house. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Rabbit Valley Studios, and this was one of my favorites. I love this. Now, I would stitch this, but I would not stitch home. I would just have the hearts throughout. Hmm. So I always take stuff and try to make it my own. I encourage you to do the same. And this is Plant the Seed. And big shout out to Denise, who's helping me on the side. Yay. She's getting her workout for the day. <laughs> and for pulling all these patterns. This is Scissor Tail Designs. And this is Humble Bee. Easter Brings Hope. Merry Christmas. And Be Mine Always. And I can really see this done in lots of different colors. And I could see this. I just decorated for Easter. So what I did is I went to the Dollar Street uh, Target what is it called dollar spot or whatever yeah i could totally see doing pink words no pink tulips aqua words pink flowers yellow up here and you know using three colors and matching what i 
got at the dollar spot, putting it, having Priscilla put it in a tiered tray thingy, and then I could put it in my tiered tray. This is Thistle's little winter bag and flower box. I think these are printed on photo paper. Mm. And then Autumn Lanes to Tree, they're super popular. Mm. This is a woman and her husband. <coughs> this is her Moo the Merry, our best friends. Mm. The Easter Garden. Oh. The, I love the ears. Uh -huh. <laughs> love grows here. Mm. And then I think this is going to be super popular, Autumn Town. Mm. I could see Cheryl making that. I don't know why I'm on here guessing what Cheryl's going to do, but it's fun <laughs> to guess. Because she doesn't tell me in advance. Ooh. Oh, this is this one's for Lily. Okay, this yes. is called Oology, I guess. Yeah. Wait, no, this one's not for you. Yeah, this one. There you go. Ah! I was like, I do love Satsuma Street. Oh. Yes. So cool. Is this the last one? Mm -hmm. No. No, this is not the last one. Okay, this is Erica Michaels. Tiptoe through the tulips. Mm -hmm. Do one to others. I think a lot of people need to read that these days. Spring berries. What did you say, Lily? <laughs> Said the shade. Sorry, I no, you're good. Okay. sometimes people need to hear it. Bristol berries. Blessings be more. And this one, it, lions, tigers, and trims. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> that would be so cute for um, if you wanted to do like if there was a new baby being born. You could do all kinds of colors to match their room and put their initials. Oh my gosh. And then this is Petal Pusher Cloverdale Cottage. Spring in the Round by JBW Designs. And on this one, we have a couple of these. There's like a rabbit in the round, a winter, winter in the round. I actually saw her patterns in person at Shepherd's Bush stitched up and really, um, they look so much better stitched up because there's so much detail in them. And this is Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> and then a Christmas stocking. And then this one, I'm, Denise is gonna make. It's called Fireside Originals. So a couple of spring chicks. It's so cute, oh right? Goodness, yes. It's a little girl and a little boy. Aww. And then Trick or Treat and Orti mm -hmm. Giordani. I don't know how to say it. Hey, that would have been my guess. And so, um, okay, I'm going to tell you a funny story. This is how sometimes I am confused. <laughs> Denise already knows what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a sampler, right? So it's got all the letters. And when we were ordering this, I literally said to Cheryl and Denise, I don't understand what 12, 34, 56, and 78 mean. And Cheryl said, Kim, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't put that together either. And I was like, what does 12 and 34 mean? I, didn't, I, I read it the way you read it, Kimberly. Okay, good. It's not just me. No, it's not. And then this one is Let It Snow. This is Ooh. really nice. That's really pretty. And then we've got Plum Street Sampler. And now we did these in no particular order. We just, this one is ab nominal, Abominable Bundle. Abominable. Abominable. And then Bigfoot Bunch. <laughs> nice. My Early Days. Oh, I was hoping for it. Oh my day. gosh, you'll have to comment and let me know, do you believe in Bigfoot? Let me know. Yeah. And then Adam names the animals. And then Hard in Hand is one of my favorite designers. Friendship Garden and Doodles in Spring. And I want to make this one. And I do, um, the only thing is I might change the hand. But I do really like this one. And then we've got Not Forgotten Farms, Bobbin Along. And this is one of Lori's favorite designers. And Peas and Carrots. And then Waxing Moon, um, the last of the monthly trios arrived. And I really think if some, I really want to see somebody take 
all of them and do it horizontally or do January, February, March, April, May, June, like three by three by four. So that might be something we do in the future. The Punch Needle most recent magazine just arrived. I'm going to skip. I'm going to peek through and show you the one that y'all all want, which is Buffalo Splad Pring. Oh. <laughs> I cannot talk. What did I just say? Buffalo Splad Pring. Buffalo Plaid Spring. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Please don't be mad, Priscilla. Splad Pring. We have a thread pack and um i want to make this one and then also from priscilla and chelsea lots of new things these two we put online monday they showed these in their video on saturday america the beautiful and liberty farm these will be shipping out in the beginning of april so all you have to do is pre-order from fat quarter shop and we will ship it the day it arrives and i'm going to make this one mm -hmm. i love it i asked priscilla last night i said is it going to take me forever? And she said, no. She said it actually goes pretty quick. So I'm trusting Priscilla that it won't take me that long. And last Friday's was Honey Bunny. And I love this finishing. I love that little thing. And then today's are strawberry seeds. So this is their seed packet that I'm going to, I'm actually going to show you all of the seed packets in a second. Oh, I love it. My stomach is just growling. So if y'all hear something, it's me. <laughs> and then this is Flower Market and it comes with a free pattern, a free chart called Garden Love. And I'm gonna stitch this one. So I bought this this morning. So now I'm gonna show you all the seed packets together because I am obsessed with seed packets. I haven't made any of these, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to. It just means it's going to be moved to in the future. Ooh. So I'm going to show you all of their seed packets as of right now. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not saying they're doing more or less. I don't know. Spicy radish. This is my favorite one. It's a spicy radish. What? Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Spicy radish seeds. <laughs> So right now there are seven. And so this is part of their tiered tray tidbits. So what I'm hoping to do is to do, I'll probably do these to start with. And when I go to do them, I will try to make all my colors go together. So I'll use the same red throughout. And I would put all three of these on my tiered tray at one time. So I would make them all kind of go together. Um, so that is my plan to have some of the seed packets done for 2021. What are, where are we on right now? 2021. I mean 2022. And then here, this just came in yesterday. We had worked with, um, we had wanted a tray and we had let Checker know. Gypsy Quilter is owned by Checker, Brad. And um, this is their tray. So I'm gonna send a bunch of these to Priscilla and Chelsea and Lori, and they're gonna finish some things on them. And I'm sure they're gonna give some away. Ooh. And then the flash sale today is Love Sweet Love. And that would look really good on Lori's tomato 25 count. Oh yeah. And then our big release of today is right here. I was decorating this weekend and this came out two Fridays ago, but it was after our Wednesday live stream. This is the brand new Bees Knees Book Sand. It is the blossom color. There was aqua before. So the way that we do these is we do the color once. When it's gone, it's gone. And the sooner this sells out, the sooner the next one will come. And I'm going to show you the back. So it is very sturdy, it stands alone, and this weekend I was decorating for Easter like we talked about. I know I'm late, but that's about as good as I can do. Priscilla finished this Happy Camper for me. This is Happy Camper by Lori Holt. And I needed something to go in my sewing room and it fits perfect. Yeah. So you can use it to a couple of different ways. Um, you can 
use it as a display. And I do have a hard time finding easels that are very straight because I don't like them to be easeled back. So this is a great option. Mm. I could see you finishing um, the cotton till patchwork seasons and putting it on here because it matches. But you could also put it next to you when you're stitching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all don't make me laugh. Okay, <laughs> so you could also put your chart right here and stitch and you could put it on the left or the right of you. So this is our brand new book stand. Okay, so now I'll answer any questions. Uh, is the book stand sharp? Okay, I don't think it is. Some people so have either. some people have said it is. I don't think it is. Yeah. To me, it's not. I mean, I'm. But it's all relative. Yeah, I, I agree. With you. I don't think it's sharp. From Pamela Bunkler, can you explain what exactly is Stitch Mania? Okay. Stitch Mania started about eight or nine years ago. It is a Facebook group started by a man and a woman and their friends. And the only reason I'm not saying their names is because right now off the top of my head, I can't think of them. Um, I'm not trying to not give credit. I just can't think of their names right now. Um, they started a group, they called it Mania, and it was back when Cross Stitch wasn't as popular. And it was a way to encourage stitchers to start a new project each day of the 31 days in May so that, that would keep you going throughout the year. They have since decided they want to close their Facebook group. So it's gonna close effective May 1st and they're just not gonna run it anymore. But I'm gonna keep doing FQS Stitch Mania and just make it our own and I don't do it the same way. I just do different projects throughout May. But that's also what I do in Jolly July and Stitching with the Housewives, holidays, and I mean, I do it throughout different months. Um, so that's what it is. I'm trying to think of their names. Kathy's, okay, can you look it up so I can give them credit? Sorry. A uh, question from Kathy Stoller. Will the flea market flowers pattern be in color? Yeah. Yeah. And from Monica Harsman, a cute comment. She said, I have a cow named Strawberry. Her offspring are Cheesecake and Milkshake. Oh my That's gosh. So cute. Okay, so Stitch Mania was started by Garrett Kilgore and Katie Agruso. Excellent. Okay, and from DK Quilter, true crime question. Have oh. you listened to the podcast, The Magnus Archives? No. Mm -hmm. Ashley email me. I don't know what that is. I did watch the new Gucci uh, Netflix. Oh. It, okay, so I knew the story. I was trying to tell Lori the story without giving it away because I called her and said, oh, you've got to watch it. So it's all in Italian, but it's the story of the last, um, the last family member of the actual Gucci's that owned the Gucci brand before it was sold off to an international company and there was crime and all kinds of things. And I knew the story. So when I started watching it, I was like, I already think I know what happens. And it's kind of like when you watch it, you think, are there really people out there like this? Like, really? This really exists? Um, but it was it was good. I thought it was good. Now, it was hard to watch because I was trying to stitch, but it's all in subtitles. So I finally just ended up just watching it and not stitching because I needed to watch it. It was so good. So I'm not sure if Lori's watched it yet, but I called her and said, okay, you got to watch this because she, she tells me when I have stuff to watch and then I tell her, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I already, it kind of was ruined because I already knew the story, but. All right. And then we had a super chat earlier from Cindy Jensen for $49.99. And I think she put it, I think the pair's tumbling around. It's all excited. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. You did my cardio for today. Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. So guys, I missed see you, seeing you last week. I hope you watch my storage video and our penny pig tutorial. Subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.